after you have submitted a pull request, a collaborator to the project will have the right to review your code and to decide whether to accept your pull request or not. If he or she re accepts your pull request, then your code will be merged into that branch that you requested for. What we're going to do in this video is to show you how a review process will look like from the person who is reviewing the process and also from the person who is submitting the review. So let's start from the person who is reviewing the project. I am logged in into my main account and I will use my main account as the reviewer and I'm also logged in on my dummy account on my private browsing window and I will use this dummy account as the person who has submitted the review process. First off, if we take a look at the pull request page, if you scroll downwards as the reviewer, the reviewer will be able to merge the pull request. There will be a green button that says merge pull request if there are no conflicts. On the person who does not have right access, in this case, there will be my dummy account. If you scroll down, you will not be able to see a button that says merge pull request. So what we're going to do then is to have the reviewer review the code first and if it all passes, we will merge the pull request. The reviewer can do a few things to review the code. What is most important of all is to click on the file changed tab. If you click on the file changed tab, you will come to a page where there are two sets of code. On the left set is the code that is currently on the branch that needs to be merged. On the right set of code is the code that is requested to be merged into the other set. And from these two sets of code, you can see what code is being removed and what code is being added. If we take a look at this example that we have over here, um, you can see that the green lines are the code that is added. So in this case, the line h2, I'm a heading, slash h2, is being added to the project. Likewise, the lines ul, the lines with the items, li, they are all being added to the project. At this point, the reviewer may make a comment in general. If they want to do that, they can click on the review changes button and leave a comment directly. They may also optionally click on the approve button, which means things are approved and then we can start merging it into the repository. Or optionally, they may also request for changes if they believe that something needs to be changed. Another way of doing things is to click on the line that they want to review. For example, in this unordered list over here, we can clearly see that we are missing a closing tab. So what we can do is to open up a comment and say there should be a slash ul here. And we can add a single line command which immediately goes on as a comment or we can click on start a review which allows us to write multiple comments which is very useful if you have to comment on a large file. For this case, we are going to click on start a review just to let you see how things go. After you have clicked on start a review, you have to end the review before anyone else can see your comments. So what you have to do then is to click on the review changes button that is on the top right hand corner, leave a comment, either say, stating it as a comment, approving the changes or requesting some changes. In this case, we have some changes that we requested for and we have already added the comments that the person who is submitting the request needs to make. So what we're going to do is to submit review. After submitting a review, the pull request will be updated with the changes as you see over here. Uh, when you scroll down, you can see that ZLWK requested these changes and say that there should be a UL over here. If we log back into the other dummy account, you can also see the same request. There should be a UL over here. Since the main reviewer has requested for some changes, as the person 
who is submitting the review, what we need to do is to update our code to match what the reviewer has mentioned. So what we're going to do is to go back into our fault project to update the code. In the previous video, we submitted a pull request from the develop branch. If we want to update that pull request, what we need to do is to update the same branch we used to submit the pull request. So we're going to update the development branch directly. Particularly, we are going to update the index.html file and we are going to add the slash ul that the reviewer requested for. I'm going to set the comment message to close ul tag. And I'm going to commit the changes. Once the person who is submitting the pull request has made the necessary changes to the code and pushed it onto their branch, if you go back to the page with the pull request and you refresh the page, you will see that there are new changes since you last viewed. And this new changes includes the commit message that we have just added in the other account. And that says close UL tag appropriately. And now once you look at the files changed, you will see what is the total changes used for the pull request. So what this means is uh, the requested changes have been made and what we are going to do now is to approve the process so we can merge it back into the account. To do that, the reviewer only needs to click on approve, then merge the pull request and confirm the merge. Once the pull request is merged, you can delete your fault repository or you can delete the fault branch because that is no longer used. That's it for this video. Um, to wrap up, you learn how to review a pull request and you learn how to edit a pull request. When you edit a pull request, what you need to do is to update the branch that was used for the pull request and everything else will be updated automatically. That's it for this video and I hope pull request has become a little bit easier to understand for you.